They have endured a falling rain all day long. These fans at Madison, Indiana, for the unlimited hydroplane races, now their reward, the final heat of racing, and it should be a dandy. And there are five finalists. Six boats will be sitting on the deck. It's Budweiser, Jim Cropfield, Larry Lonerback with the Winston Eagle, Chip Hanauer in the Circus Circus, Mr. Pringles with Scott Pierce, the driver, Oh Boy Alberta with George Woods Jr. The whole set, Miss Madison, is the alternate boat should any of the top five not be running at the one-minute gun. And we are under that one-minute gun now, and they are all running. Whole set, Miss Madison, will have to return to the pits. In lane number one, it is the Miss Budweiser. Lane number two, Circus Circus. Lane number three, Mr. Pringles. Lane four, Oh Boy Alberto. And coming up behind the pack is the Winston Eagle. Now as they come down to take the start, there's the flag, and Mr. Pringles goes out in front. Scott Pierce, who's been driving with a brace on his leg all day long, and a cast over a chipped ankle bone that he got in Detroit in an accident last week, is now battling for the lead. Circus Circus up on the inside. There goes Scott Pierce by him again, and Circus Circus again has gone dead in the water in the same turn it has gone dead in twice before. And look at the Miss Budweiser in lane one come on the inside and start to drag the fleet down the back chute under the Ohio River Bridge as he takes over first place from the Mr. Pringles driven by Scott Pierce and dies for corner number three. A great drive for Jim Kropfeld. There you see the Winston Eagle. He's definitely got problems. He was off the pace at the start. Now we know why. Look at the power of the Miss Budweiser and the Chip Presents Mr. Pringles as the two boats come tearing around the corner onto the front straightaway, airborne. There is the Miss Budweiser, that boat in the lead right now as we complete lap number one. 124.116 mile an hour, one lap down, Four more laps to go. This is a five-lap final. And, Jim, as we predicted earlier, these boats were sandbagging a little bit, taking it easy. They didn't want to tear up their equipment. They wanted to come in here, but now both of these boats over 120 miles an hour for average lap speed. This is second place. Scott Pierce in Jip Presents Mr. Pringles. This is your leader, the Miss Budweiser, the red and white boat. Good action on the course on the Ohio River here in Madison, Indiana. This is Oh Boy Oberto driving in third place, and he's closing the gap on Jeff Presents Mr. Pringles. Five miles an hour different, and now the Circus Circus has gotten underway once again. What a story. Four times down in that corner, the Circus Circus has had problems, gone dead in the water, and then had to play catch up. Circus Circus, Chip Hanauer, the driver. As you can see, the boat a little bit loose in the water. That's an indication of the power that he's putting to it. He is going to be over the 124 mile an hour average speed when it is totaled up for the lap because he is trying to play catch up now and get himself up in the contention to try to take the lead. This time, he has a total of five laps to do it. Meanwhile, Winston Eagle has restarted, and Larry Lauderback, whatever the problem was with the boat, he has cured it, he's got it underway, and he also is playing catch-up. Your leader is the Miss Budweiser with Jim Cropfeld, who came into this race 594 points down to the Circus Circus, driven by Chip Hanauer. If he maintains his present lead and has a perfect 600 or make it 1,600-point day, he could come out with a 10-point lead after this race is over. I think that's indicative of the kind of race we're going to see all season long. Jim presents Mr. Pringles is really in the thick of things right now, still riding in second place, and you can see he is being challenged by Oh Boy Alberto. We looked, and I had to look again to make sure it was the right boat, but it is. George Woods Jr. has powered on in Oh Boy Alberto. That is a very heavy riding boat, and he's taking advantage of it by plowing right through this course. I'll tell you, there's going to be a battle for second and third place before it's over. Our leader is now waiting for the checker flag as he comes around, hangs it on the hook. The checker flag is waiting, but I think behind him, that battle between Old Boy Alberto and the Mr. Pringles is continuing. And the interesting point here is the Miss Budweiser comes home. She will be the first boat to win twice on this circuit. This is the first repeat win we've had. And look at the battle now. There you can see Jim presents Mr. Pringles. But on the outside of the course, it's George Woods Jr. in Old Boy Alberto. There's the Budweiser pit celebrating, rightfully so. But let's go back 
and check as the winner comes across the line. Let's watch this finish for second. George Woods Jr. on the outside, he gets him. George Woods Jr. takes second place in the final heat. Jip presents Mr. Pringles his third. And the first time this year that any boater driver is repeated as winners, it'll be Miss Budweiser with Jim Cropfield. Old boy Alberto gets second place. There's your third place finisher, Mr. Pringles, Scott Pierce. Circus Circus will come in fourth. Winston Eagle overall fifth. The Budweiser crew hailing their driver, Jim Cropfield, who comes back to the victor's dock. And we'll have all the action and all the comments from the winning driver and team after this timeout. Back here in Madison, Indiana, the rain is really falling now, and here's the final results. Miss Budweiser, the winner, Old Boy Alberto, Mr. Pringles, Circus Circus, and Winston Eagle. Let's get down to the winning dock. Bernie Little, you got to be thrilled with us. Oh, uh, we well, sure are, Dick. Uh, you know, that 1,600 points we come out there, that's an absolute perfect day for the Miss Budweiser. And all of our fans, uh, they knew he could win, and we knew he could win, and he did, and he did. Well, Jimmy, I got to tell you, this is the first time this year we've had a duplicate winner. You've, you've the first one to take two races. Well, you know, the guys, we worked all weekend trying to get to the boat set up the way I could drive it on, the, on this race course, and we knew it was going to be rough. It always is in Madison. And uh, we just had to keep trying and trying, and we really didn't get a good setup until the first heat this morning that we really liked or that I really liked. It, it just, we ran the whole the same setup all weekend. It was great. Well, you had terrible, terrible water. The boat held in there beautifully. As a matter of fact, we have to compliment all the drivers. Everybody made through it. It was a safe race from that standpoint. Yeah, that, that was great. I was a little worried in that first turn with uh, Chip on my outside. I really wanted to be on the outside of him. I felt I could, uh, his boat didn't turn quite as good and I could hold him in there. I could really get him to slow down, but I saw him take a leap down there. Water just came everywhere and I just, bye-bye. <laughs> didn't have to use the gyro? <laughs>